Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install the faucet in the kitchen. So you need a driller, screwdriver and the flashlight. Let's go without further delay. Uh, so this is a newly you know, renovated uh, the kitchen with the marble countertop. There's a building next under, uh, under sink, they call under sink, uh, probably I'm correct. Uh, this is the, the cold and hot water. That's the twenty dollars you spend. Like you guys put the, the shutter valve, so that's why you don't need to turn on, turn off all the water in your home. So very easy to work on it. Just twenty bucks from Home Depot, and you need to rent the um, what they call PEX. Um, now this is the top part of the sink. So here's the, the underneath of the, the sink, the kitchen sink. There's a plastic PVC pipe. Um, this, you know, you can take it out. This is the way you're going to adjust the height uh, or the depth of the, the sink. So because you know each uh, sink is different, uh, so you can you know move up and down. Or if it's too long, you can cut it off. This is the the uh, cold, what to call underneath the sink. There's uh, the plastic uh, kind of a cap um, that's you're going to screw it in uh, inside that uh, small plastic PVC pipe uh, like at the clockwise then once you put that the final uh, the cover you can move up and down I'm going to show you in a minute so this is tight enough um, and the bottom piece is it's adjustable so when you see from the top this is the look going to be like there's a middle there's a stainless steel uh, the hole with the thread in it so that's the way you're going to put this one and going to screw it in so that's the way the water not going to drip it from the sink to the outside it's exactly will go into that pipe it's a drainage so there's a small screw kind of and you put it inside and you're going to clockwise you're going to tie it up don't worry about alignment because when you tie it up there's a uh, put one hand underneath and you can adjust it before you tie it up yeah see that's very easy so now you align it so make sure it's on the center that's it and once you make it everything centered just tie it up be gentle don't don't over tie it like if you break it you need to end up with the buying like a complete set that uh, the faucet cover and the bottom so this is the bottom of that um, countertop where the drainage pipe is. So the way I told you, you can adjust, you can lose it that one and then you can adjust that the, the pipe goes underneath the sink. Uh, they repeat the same thing for this second because I have uh, two, uh, you can see two of them. So the same thing on the other side, the left hand side, uh, that's all. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward and simple. And now it's a Delta pipe. I bought it from Home Depot. It's a stainless steel and they say 10 years warranty. I don't think so. After 10 years, I'm going to remove it and, you know, take it back to, you know, repair or replace it. So this is a tidying screw. It goes underneath the marble. So when you take it out, there's a two plastic, uh, what they call a washer, the rubbery one. I don't want to keep it two of them because what happened, I want this, that, 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 that tap won't be a flat with the marble so that's the way it looks so pretty because if you leave that the, the rubber or black color cover you're going to show separately from the white color marble so i don't want that but so just i remove it so it's going to give a flat you can see yeah see? so it's completely flat so now you're going to make a uh, line it because you want the right hand side to control so the go on the bottom the, the the screw will remove it you're going to you know clockwise you're going to tie it up tie it up but you don't need to worry about it too tight at least you can feel it and then there's a screw you tie it up this is the one uh, you can use it for like what the hand washing soap or dishwashing it's up to you guys so when you tie the screw this is the look on the bottom so now the tap is very very secure and tight here's the place you're going to Put the bottle there, it's come with the bottle, you're going to tie up, fill it with the, the soap and you tie it up. So here, the cold water one tap, the other one is the hot water. Uh, the third one you can see for the sprayer when you wash the uh, you know, plates or spoon or anything, like you can spray the water. 
So that's that uh, the three pi, and then in hard with the red color, the other one called is a white. It's called text pipe half inch. That's a very flexible. That's uh, the very common in the new homes. Uh, my home is have less than four years, so it's a uh, it's a very new. This is the one goes um, underneath the, the spray pipe. Once you push it in, and uh, then there's the weight there. They give you like it's included because. This is two screw. You need to unscrew it because if you pull that the sprayer, something need to push it back in. So you cannot go and underneath the sink and pull it every time. So it's a very clever idea. They put the weight. Make sure you don't put too close it to the the countertop because there's no space to pull it in. And when you wash the dishes or anything, so you know I, I prefer where the bend. That's uh, the the right spot. That's why when you pull it, it will again go and tie it up so here's the final touch of the tap faucet everything is installed i'm going to turn it on the the shadow valve so i don't need to go down as i told you this is very easy it's a 20 bucks here you go that's the final part the tap is working and waters everything good tight enough and looks so perfect it's like a less than half an hour job if you have a proper tool. So again, you need a driller, screwdriver, flashlight. And it's all done. And looks great. And that's it. Thank you for watching guys. If you like it, please give the thumbs up or click on the subscribe button. Power to strike. Anthony.